Good morning guys, welcome to today's biology class. This morning we'll be looking at a topic which says sense organs. We'll be treating the eye as a subtopic. Now let's go to the objectives. The first objective on, our, on the board says describe the eye as a sense organ. We'll be looking at the structures of the eye, then classify them. We'll explain the functions of these named structures. And to wrap up this class, we'll be looking at the functions of the eye. As a way of introduction, we know that human body has a pair of eyes. And these eyes are used to see in the presence of light. The eye as a sense of that. Flashback to last week's class, we're able to identify five sense organs in the human body. The nose, the eyes, the two eyes, the two ears, the tongue, and the skin. Today we're going to be looking at the eye as a sense organ. What makes the eye a sense organ? In order to see this, we'll be looking at the structures, various structures of the eyes and the functions of the eye. Structures of the human eye. There are three major layers of the human eye. And these layers are outer layer, the middle layer, and the inner layer, which is the most sensitive layer of the eye. Now we'll be looking at the structures present in those layers in the eye. Now look at the table, we can see three different um, layers of the eye. We have the outer layer, which the first one there, the outermost layer is called the sclera. That's the white part of your eye when you look at the mirror. Then the cornea and the conjunctiva, these are the outer layers of the eye. Then the middle layer, we have the choroid, we have the iris, we have the pupil, we have the ciliary muscle, the suspensory ligament, and the lens. In the inner layer, which I once said is the most sensitive layer of the eye, we have the retina. This is where the images are focused. Then we have the rods and cones found in the retina. These are pigments found in the retina. The rods are sensitive. The rod is sensitive to dim light, while the cones are sensitive to bright lights, able to differentiate different colors of light. Now, yellow spot is the most sensitive part of um, the retina where the images are formed in the retina. Blind spots are the most insensitive part of the retina. They are not sensitive to light at all. And it's at this point that the optic nerve leaves the um, inner layer of the eye to the brain. Then we have the aqueous humor and the vitreous humor. These two help to maintain the spherical shape of the eye. Now let's look at these two beautiful diagrams of the eye. Now we have the human eye as the, as the first image and the second image is the structure, biological structure of the eye. Now in the human eye we have the eyelid, we have the eyelashes, there's the eyes in your eye, then we have the uh, pupil, the black part of the eye is the pupil. So when you look at the mirror, you see the black part of your eye, that's called the pupil. Then we have this ring of muscle surrounding the pupil. This is called the iris. It controls how the pupil opens and closes in dim and bright um, light. Then we have the sclera, which I once mentioned is the outermost part of the eye. Now I'm going to show you the next slide. We should be connecting some parts of the human eye to this structure. There you have it. Now let's, be, let's um, try and accomplish or establish some particular um, structures. Now let's look at the sclera. The sclera here has um, the white part here connected down to this diagram. You can see it's also the white part of this diagram. That is the sclera. Then this is the iris. This particular part is the iris connected back to this side. You see it is a ring of muscles surrounding the pupil. Then the pupil is a dark um, substance, the dark structure in the human eye. If you bring it down here, you will see it immediately after the iris, before the lens. Then I also want to talk about the um, 
suspensory ligament and the ciliary muscles. Now the suspensory ligament is attached to the lens. It helps to keep the lens in place. Then the lens um, are able to refract the light coming into the eye directly to the retina in order to form a stable image. Now we have the functions of the eye. Now to wrap up this class, we'll quickly mention the two functions of the eye, which are image formation and accommodation. Now image formation is possible with the structure called the retina because it's in the retina that images are formed in the eye. Then the accommodation, this is the ability of the eye to focus both far and near objects in the eye. Um, with this, I would, I would expect us to go back to our Google Classroom and be able to attend our starter activity, look at our lesson notes, and also attend our class starts before uh, wrapping up and submitting at the required time. Thank you for listening. Bye.